Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Venue SQ Music and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with an iPhone. You can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first method is to pair it during the setup process of the watch. So basically if your watch is brand new or it's been reset uh, to the factory default settings. And the second option or other method is to pair it uh, through settings after the watch has been already set up. I'm gonna show you the during setup method first and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through settings. Okay, so first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch or wake up the screen on it. To turn on the watch, press and hold the upper button and to wake up the screen on your watch, you can press any of the buttons. After you turn on your watch and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory settings, you will see the hello screen. You can tap on the screen to continue and now you will see the list of languages. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen, find the language you'd like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select English. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with our phone. Tap on the check mark to confirm. And now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So let's open the App Store on our iPhone. In the App Store, let's tap on search. Tap on the search bar, type in Garmin Connect. And then tap search. And you should see this app right here, Garmin Connect. You can tap on this icon to install the application. Wait until the app is done installing. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. Now, let's make sure and that the Bluetooth is enabled on our iPhone. So let's open the uh, menu. Oh, first we need to tap on OK right here. Then open the menu and make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled. If it's not, tap on the Bluetooth icon to enable it. OK. And once the Bluetooth is enabled, we need to log in into Garmin account. As you can see, uh, my iPhone remembers the account already. So I can just tap on continue to log in. But if you're opening the app for the first time, you will see this screen. And here you can create a new account or log in by tapping on sign in right here. I'm just gonna tap on continue to log in into my account. Tap the, uh, check the boxes and then tap next. Now let's go to our watch and tap on the check mark right here. And as you can see, the watch entered the pairing mode. You will see this animation on the screen. And right here we can allow some permissions for the application. So if you want to receive the notifications on your watch, you need to tap on allow. If you don't want to use this feature, tap on don't allow. And here we can allow the uh, health features like heart rate, resting heart rate, sleep and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to track it with your watch, we need to uh, allow it uh, right here. I'm just gonna tap on turn on all and then tap on allow. You can customize it however you like it. And after that, the app should detect your watch automatically. As you can see, tap on connect it. Now we need to enter the pin from our watch. So 466134 and tap pair. Oh, must have entered the code wrong, so let's try again. 728330 and then tap pair. Oh, let's tap on retry. Okay, this time it went through. A little bit wonky, but as you can see, it's working now. Now it's pairing the watch. Setup is complete, now we can tap on next. Here we can set up a sleep time. Basically when we get go, uh, typically we go to bed and when we wake up. This is useful if you want to use uh, something like uh, sleep tracking or uh, sleep do not disturb mode, basically. So if you want to, uh, for the do not disturb mode to turn on automatically, and during your sleep time, you can customize this uh, time period to basically use it. And to do it, simply tap on the border or other the frame, and you can adjust the time by swiping up and down on the screen. And once you're done, tap on next, then tap yes or no, if you don't want to use do not disturb mode. 
but I'm gonna tap on yes. Here we can select the preferred wrist, basically on which we prefer to wear the watch, then tap next. And now we can agree to send the uh, recent training data to the device. I'm just gonna tap on no, but if you want to, you can tap on yes and tap next. Right here we can set up some goals, basically something like steps, uh, amounts of liquid drink, drink during the day and stuff like that. If you want to do it, tap on edit my goals and here we can customize it. We have auto or custom. You can tap on the frame to customize it. Again, for fluid is also auto or custom, or you can tap on the frame. <clears throat> and below we have intensity per minute. Basically, this is intensity training, and you can set up the goal for your intensity training. And once you're done, tap on next. Here, uh, we're being asked to allow the location permission. Uh, if you want to track your uh, routes, like for example, your running routes and stuff like that, you need to allow it. If you don't, tap on skip. I'm just gonna allow it and tap allow while using the app. Here we can allow the calendar access. So if you want to have the calendar access on your watch, uh, see some uh, appointments and stuff like that, you need to allow the permission. If you don't want to use it, you can tap on skip to skip this. I'm just gonna allow it. Then tap on sync now. Then tap finish. Now let's tap on next. Next. This is basically a, a tutorial how to use the watch. You can go through it by tapping on next. And once you're done, you can tap on finish. Here we can uh, manage the data. Basically, you can select the place or location from which you want to get the uh, weather data. I'm just going to tap on no thanks and tap on got it. And if you see this icon right here at the top of our watch, that means that the watch is paired with our phone. You can also tap on more right here. Scroll down, tap on Garmin devices, and you should see the Avenue SQ on the list of devices. You can tap on it to open the device page for your watch. And as you can see, the watch is ready to use and it's paired with our phone. Okay, so that's how you pair it during the setup process. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it through settings. So I'm gonna unpair this watch from our phone. I'm gonna remove it. Close the app. Uh, check the Bluetooth settings if the watch is still right there. As you can see, it says it's connected, so I'm just gonna open the Bluetooth settings, uh, tap on the info icon next to Venue SQ, tap on Forget Device, Forget Device to remove it completely. Okay, so now let's say our watch is set up already and I want to pair it with a phone. Of course, you will need to download and install the Co uh, Garmin Connect IQ app, rather, Garmin Connect app on your iPhone. Once you install it, you can go to your watch, press and hold the lower button to open the menu, scroll down, tap on the settings icon, scroll down, find the option called phone and tap on it. Here, scroll down and tap on pair phone. This will uh, open the pairing mode or rather the uh, watch will enter the pairing mode. Now you can open the app. And if, it's op if you're opening for the first time, you will go through the login screen and then the app should detect your watch automatically. If you already have an, or rather you are logged in already in the app, you can tap on the plus button and it's gonna detect your uh, watch. You can tap on connect it, enter the code. Tap pair and just go through the whole process as we did. I did before when we were pairing our uh, watch. As you can see, our watch is paired with our phone now. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with an iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.